Yo, 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 soup.tv. Uh, so. Shark soup production. Yeah. Between 10th and 11th grade of high school, this Asian family moved near where I grew up, near Rancho High School. They lived about seven minutes away from where I'd lived. So we all became friends through mutual friendship. People figured out where we lived. We lived close. We started hanging out a lot more, especially me. I started chilling with them a lot, picking it with them. I started wanting to tag more, learn to draw, and they took some stuff from my culture. It was like an exchange of cultural experiences. Of course, they loved hip hop music. One of their favorite songs, which would let you know what era it was in, was uh, that left, 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 right, left, Yo, that shit by Drum. I came to hate that song because they played that shit so much. They bought the single and just played it over and over and over. So there's a lot of memories there because we kicked it really hard. People were over their house every day. They were trying to chill with us, blah, blah, blah. But even though a lot of people, including myself, memories are all different, I personally remember a wedge being formed between the groups. I'm pretty sure I wasn't the only black guy that wanted to get him an Asian girl. And two of my homies, three of my homies, they dated. The, the, the cousins, the sisters, they were always, you know, spit game, trying to trying to kiss, make out. Some of them even tried to attempt smashing. I remember one of them had a long relationship, but the inevitable is bound to happen in that situation. Arguments, disagreements, young love just not working out, and then of course the breakups. But there was this one night in particular where T, that's his name for today, is like, I need to go over there and talk to them. This girl cousin is tripping. So we like, cousin? Yeah, man, this dude just moved in. He's big buff and he wants to fight me. This, that, 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 this, that. Cause they broke up, him and his girl. We like, you know, we can't leave our boy on his own going over there to fight somebody who's supposedly this small, stocky, bald head Asian. So it was about five of us kicking it at the table in our neighborhood little park. And we're like, we gonna come with you. So we make our way down there. And I kid you not, after we walk down there, we don't cross the street to get to their house. We're on the other side, like they're across the street neighbors and they just start coming out. Somebody must have been sitting by the window, but they just start coming out. And eventually it's like a square up, 707, both sides of the street. And T and this dude, who not, nobody, none, none of us knew that I, I assumed, I surely didn't, starts yelling at T from across the street. T's yelling back. Then eventually this cousin, he snaps, right? He comes across the street and he's walking in and out of our little group. And we're just looking at him like, what the hell? And he's like chasing T. He's not like running, but he's like doing this walk scream, like, get over here, no! And I get this little side eye, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, we could jump this fool right now. But I don't think nobody's thinking like me. And I was like, you know what, that's between them. We're just gonna let them figure it out. We're just gonna be here to be the, the regulators because the cousin has his whole family there. But anyways, we didn't want him getting fucked up. So we just there to regulate. And as we're standing, I mean, all their family came out. It might've been a little unfair. It might've been seven of us total, but it could've been like 12 of them because even the little brothers and little sisters came out. But wait, there's more. So the chick that T broke up with, JJ, she takes like two steps and looks up to the corner, which is like three houses away. And she goes, oh shit, it's the KP boys. And everybody, I mean, our group, their group, they turn their heads like, what? And you see this green eclipse looking like it's straight out of Fast and Furious 1 or 2. And it like comes to a halt right after the house. The next thing I know, two dudes jump out. The driver jumps out the car and he just starts coming at me, bro. Like for real, like he's like, duh, duh, coming. So in my mind, bam, the adrenaline kicks in. I'm like, it's going down, right? So he comes straight to me and I kind of lose focus on all the dudes behind me because I'm like, I got to defend myself. And sure enough, he swings at me. And my adrenaline's kicking in like overtime. So he, he starts with like a hook, right or left, whatever. He starts with this hook. Only thing I see is it coming at me like in slow motion. So I'm dodging it, like ducking. He misses, obviously. Kind of goes over my back, he hits my back with like his pinky knuckle. But knowing that he missed, he must've just kept throwing punches. All I feel is like little fists hitting my back, right? So I take like one step back and like come out of the dodge and I swing at him with my left. Bam, right in his mouth. All I hear is, ugh, and I feel like teeth and spit is on my fist, crazy. After I hit him, he's like pedaling back because I don't know how hard I hit, but maybe it hurt him. But the next thing I know, I look to see what's going on. I see the passenger at the rear of the car with this nine to 10 inch fucking flathead screwdriver. And my adrenaline shuts the fuck off like, oh hell no, nah. ta-da, no, nah, no. Nah. 
So I back out and I'm like, fuck that. I ain't trying to have them problems. And we start regrouping, like, I start to see people next to me. But then I look back across the street toward their house. And T is getting stomped out by the whole family. Little sisters, little brothers. I see this little 11-year-old kick the shit out of him with this fresh ass, out the box, white Air Force One. I'll never forget that. That shit was so funny, right? But then you look down at T and he's like, and he looks over at us and he's like, help me! <laughs> Hilarious, bro. But he eventually breaks free in like 10 seconds and he runs over to us. And we just retreat back to our apartments. But that was the first time ever I've been in a brawl over some motherfucking pussy, basically. And yeah, shit's crazy, bro. So even though that happened, I do wish that all of us would have still been friends. I feel like we were young, but we could have we made things work out a little better. Anyways, soup.tv. I'll catch you later.